All right, wanted to make a video here to cover three topics. The first topic we're gonna cover is the screen. I made a video yesterday, but I'm just gonna kind of tie it in. Um, in here right now. If you want to check it out, just look up my channel and look for the video that is about the M17 R4 screen calibration. So there's two variations. I'm going with this one currently because it just looks better. That's currently what my screen is right now. Um, so you can see red 42, green 40, and blue 52. So there we go, 42. We'll go to green, that should be at 40, and then our blue should be at 52, which it is. So, unfortunately, I believe this panel has a little bit of, um, the color isn't exactly as accurate, but with a little fine-tuning, you can get it accurate. The top number, I didn't really like, because when you hook it up to a TV, it looks, it, it doesn't look good. Um, you'd have to change the colors back down, um, or independently set, you know, the so the screen, this screen is one color and this is another. So with this one, the second one, everything seems to work okay. The other thing I wanted to kind of go over is the throttle stop and how I have mine currently undervolted. And I just kind of tucked it away right here in my um, C drive. I actually made it a hidden folder just so it was kind of out of the way since I'm not really going to go into the app ever. I have it set to load a test scheduler about seven minutes in. So, as you see here, the max temperature we've been getting to is about 65, just at idles. And um, you can see my settings over here if you want to just pause the video. Um, if we look at our limits, the only reason why the TVB is lit up is because I'm not, I'm not plugged in. And this one, for some reason, kind of intermittently comes and goes. But uh, again, I'm, I'm not plugged in. But with having everything set the way I have it set, so I've lowered my turbos down to pretty much 4.6, which I think is the boost on the AMD Ryzen. And I've lowered my offset to about 95.7 millivolts. And you do want to do that on the CPU core and cache. And then I've also disabled or unchecked the thermal velocity boost right there. Um, and then you just save voltages immediately. And with having it set up like this, on games like Need for Speed Heat that for whatever reason take a lot of resources, the highest temperature I've seen this computer get to now is 90 degrees. And the FPS ranges anywhere from 80 to 100. So depending on what you know elements are going on, um, weather wise in the game so I really can't complain it, it, it's been a huge huge improvement just being able to um, you know just being able to disable not disable but being able to take a little less power going to the CPU and I'd rather have full control of it and use a program like this versus the manufacturer you know telling me what amount of power they're going to give it. And then for the third one is going to be the Alienware Command Center. I know I made previous videos. This is the simple fix is your virus scan. If those of you who use Kaspersky, if we just disable that, now it may not work because the computer's been turned on for a little bit. You Oh, it did work. Okay. Typically what I found is if you turn the computer on, turn Kaspersky's off, and then anytime right away or you know an hour what, whatever the alienware command center will load in this case the computer was on for a good you know four four minutes or so and i tur just turned off right on the video kaspersky's and we loaded it and it instantly loaded so the whole time i believe the issue has been kaspersky's i don't really think i had to do the factory reset or any of that um, there's tons of threads out there that talk about C++ uh, runtime installing from 2009 all the way to 2019. I did that. I did the net framework. I uninstalled, used Revo install everything. Um, the, even the Dell technician, he, he did get it to work, but it was very, 
it wasn't the best. I, I would say that the way he did it, he uninstalled it, reloaded, uh, you know, logged into Windows and then relaunched the command center, clicked the yes for the permissions, and then within three minutes all together from start to finish, this would finally initialize. And I thought, okay, well, it's a little bit unorthodox that I have to wait three minutes before I can even get in here to, to game, but I figured if it works, it works. So I started trying it. He tried it twice and it worked. So I, I said, okay, I think he fixed it. Thank you. And I tried it about 10 more times. And honestly, I ran into the issue. Um, after about seven tries, I finally started to run into the issue where it was not loading. And um, I finally decided later that day I was going to do the factory reset. Didn't do the update to the command center. Did all the Windows updates, driver updates, everything but the command center. Uh, reinstalled all my games and everything. Most of my games are on the backup drive, so it was just a matter of verifying them. And um, the command center right away, just like it did here, loaded no problem. And then I installed Kaspersky's. And that is when I noticed the virus scan in the Alienware command center do not get along. And um, as soon as I installed it and launched it, it started to do the infamous, these two things just spinning with no sign of uh, it ever launch, you know, configuring to launch or, or to load those controls. So I disabled Kaspersky's, you know, exited it out like I did in the video here and uh, restarted it, made sure it didn't load, launched the command center, and it's worked ever since. Um, the only little hiccup I've had is where I had Kaspersky's running, like I mentioned, and then loading this, and then it didn't. And to fix it, I just, you know, um, restarted, exited Kaspersky's right away, then launched this, and it works. But that was the three things I wanted to cover. Thank you for watching.